Hey guys, Funky17 here. Today we're going to be playing FPS Man, which is a game <coughs> that I found on Congregate. You can find the link to it in the description. Uh, and this game is basically about... Uh, I think you guys can see for yourself in a minute. So basically, I don't know the controls for this because it wasn't massively clear. Okay. So what this is, guys, is this is Pac-Man. Yeah, here it goes. So this is first person Pac-Man. Oh god, this is so weird as well, because the ghost can come at you from anywhere. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! This is actually quite scary, because I was looking for horror games and this baby popped up. Okay, it's not so bad now because I can basically track them through sound. They're not exactly subtle. Come here, you son of a bitch. Here's Packy. Um, not what I meant. Not what I meant. For the love of God, do not take that in the wrong way. It's not meant to be racist. Alright. <clears throat> I want to see if I can actually complete this, because it'd be interesting if I could... Oh my god! This game is fucking terrifying. You have to think tactically. Otherwise you're going to die. Dear god. I never thought Pac-Man could be scary. But Jesus Christ, this is actually pretty terrifying, guys. Oh shit! Come here, you bastards. I'm not afraid of you. Okay. Strange, but I actually find this easier than the original Pac-Man because I actually really like FPS games, so I find this strangely easier. As odd as that may seem. I'm hungry. Nom nom nom. But it's certainly an odd game. I mean, um, I like the way they've done it though. They've actually incorporated a radar, so it is possible to complete the game. Uh, but it's not... Oh my god! He is right on my ass. Huh. <laughs> As a reference to one of my other videos. Anybody who's been with my channel a while, a while will know that, though. Holy shit, these guys don't let up. The more fucking orbs you get, the more unrelenting they get. Holy fuck, and they're all over here as well. I must have run out of uh, ghost eating orbs and have got confident. <gasps> I won. Oh my god. Level. Oh shit, how many levels are there? I don't know if that's a question I want answered. Okay, this is actually a really interesting game. It doesn't take too long to play. <clears throat> it's actually, it is <clears throat> a little bit terrifying. It's really fun. The radar helps you a lot. Let's see if we can trick this fucker. Yeah, we tricked him. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely one of the stranger games I've played. 2014. It's it's definitely up there. But it's fun, I like it. It's it's quirky, it's new, it is a little bit terrifying. 
I think whoever made this game put a brand new twist onto Pac-Man. It's really original. I really like it quite a lot. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this. I'm going to stay behind him because I'm pretty sure they can't. No, my god. Well, they can't knock into each other, so... I'm pretty sure they don't just pass through one another, so... Despite being ghosts. This is actually... I can't believe it. I mean, this game is so interesting. It's beautifully rendered. And the map design's great, considering this is a free game as well. Uh, it's basic. Come here. Fucking hungry, I'm gonna eat you. You're gonna like it. But, I mean, you've gotta take this game for what it is. You might think, wow, it's simplistic, there's no nothing really to it. Um, and I suppose you could say that, but this game is free on Congregate. It's a, way, it's an, a browser game, it's not a game you need to download. You can just uh, start playing it. The controls are simplistic. Ha <laughs> Look at that, just a million and one fucking ghosts just hanging around when I need them. Always useful. But I mean... <clears throat> If you take the game for what it is, it's an amazing game. I mean, you can't click out of the game either, which is really rare for uh, web games as well. Uh, but you can't click out of the game. You have to, I guess, wait until you've completed the level or press escape or the window button or something. Oh, God. I thought I'd be a little more dramatic, but... That was, that was very interesting, wasn't it? I mean... Considering it's a free game, so I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and review this game right now. It's very simplistic, uh, and this is the kind of game I'd gladly p pay some money for. It's in, it's like SCP Containment Breach in a way that I'd pay money for this. If there was a full version of this game released with fruit, <clears throat> more levels, lots of stuff to do, I'd gladly buy this game. This is a really interesting game to play, and it's it can be a little bit unnerving. It's not scary necessarily. Especially when you've played Slender. Actually, you know, I might actually be able... Yeah, I can play this with my controller. Although I can't look around with my controller. I can sort of play this with my controller. It's a little more fluent as well, I might add. Or fluid. Oh, I'm going to get myself killed real quick. Because I'm going to switch back to my uh, keyboard. <laughs> Keyboard's better for it. But, well, I think actually I think the controller would be really well could go really well for this, but I didn't set up the right stick properly for this particular type of game, so for me it, it uh, really doesn't work. But no, this is a really great game. I have no problem with this game whatsoever. I'm happy to go through the first level again. This is the kind of game I'm going to end up playing in my spare time as well, because a lot. Oh God, I'm an idiot. A lot of stuff I end up playing in this game. Uh, sorry, in this YouTube channel, <clears throat> I don't play a lot in my spare time. Like Pokemon Red, for example. I'll play it in order to rank myself up. World of Warcraft, since I started recording it, I haven't done a whole lot of playing of it. Aside from when I'm actually recording it. And same as Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, but this game is one of those rare games that despite having recording it... <coughs> Sorry, I've got to clean my throat. I've got a really fucking botched throat today. Oh, God! Ah, I nearly made it. I got cornered. There was no way for me to get out. But... Despite the fact that uh, I'm recording it and I'm going to be playing it for a few times, I can easily see myself playing this uh, again in the future. I can see myself playing this game as a fucking in my spare time. It's a really fun game to play. And I love the way it's structured as well, because it's an FPS game, but you can avoid grabbing the, uh, the food things like to allow you to eat the ghosts. You can avoid it grabbing them. Because you can go around them. And that is so useful because if you want to save it, because there's no ghosts around and you know that for a fact, uh, it's really useful that you can just walk around them. <coughs> now, it was made in the Unity engine. And again, for, uh, uh, it's amazing to think this is a free game and it's a browser game. There's no download required. Nothing. It's such a fucking awesome game. It's a crime that this is free. If I'd worked on this game, I'd need money for it. Because there's no way this was the easiest thing in the world to make. 
And the resources within it look very Pac-Man-ish. And I don't think these kind of resources would just be available uh, by default within Unity. I don't know, because I've never used Unity. I've used um, Stencil, but I've never used Unity. So I really wouldn't know. But at the same time, guys, this is a real shit. Just keep going, hope for the best. Okay, here we go. We're just trying to avoid getting killed. But I mean, it the way it fuses it together, I mean, when you're playing Pac-Man, it's just a fun game. <clears throat> and when you die, it's like, oh, I'm dead. Wow. And when you're playing this game, you see the ghost. It's like a genuine panic. You're like, well, holy shit. There is a ghost right there. And it, it's actually quite worrying whenever you see a ghost. And then when you grab the fucking food, it's like, oh, it's game on now. <coughs> and it becomes a challenge. How many ghosts can you eat in the time limit? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it, guys. Uh, I'm taking this game as what it is. If this were a game I had to pay $10 for, I'd do it for starters. Especially if it allowed you to put user-created uh, levels in. Because if it did that, <coughs> this game would easily be a game everybody would pay for. But taking it for what it is, I'm going to have to give this game a solid 7 out of 10. <clears throat> it's free. There's more than one level for it, so it's not going to get too repetitive too quickly. Oh, shit. And the NPCs are tactical. It's not a super easy game. And generally when you come across free games... <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck I ate. Um, but no, when, when generally when you come across free games like this, like this kind of free game... They're actually extraordinarily easy, and it gets really boring really quickly. But I mean, uh, I think Mika, whoa, shit, me completing the first level as quickly as I did on the first try was beginner's luck, because this game it does take quite a bit of tactical ability. It's a it's a, it's a very fun game. Uh, it can be quite disconcerting as well because usually when you're playing Pac-Man, you're playing it through a top-down view. So playing it through first person is just so freaky. Um, and I think somebody said in the comments, if I can find the comment, it says, uh, "I'd love to be able to see a top-down instant replay after each level to see how many close calls and how lost I got." And it is an excellent idea. He's right about that. I would pay good money to see that. Because that sounds like an idea that would be fucking amazing for this particular game. Uh, certainly for a lot of FPS games. It's a very quite an original idea. It's definitely a very original take on Pac-Man. <coughs> now, I'm not sure if there's been first-person Pac-Mans before. But I know that this is the most original... Most original uh, Pac-Man game I've ever seen. So from the actual original Pac-Man. Because uh, I've, I've played a few different Pac-Man variants, and uh, a lot of them just seem to be revamped versions, maybe with a bit of neon, maybe slightly cooler <coughs> in some way or another. Slightly more colourful, slightly more entertaining, slightly more scary, you know, you've got like fucking monstrous sprites coming after you. But I think this is the first, uh, the very first, first person uh, Pac-Man that I've ever come across. And for me, that's quite <clears throat> amazing, because I do search around, because I did love Pac-Man when I was younger. I didn't get to play it on the original console, but I loved it, all the original arcade and the original console. I didn't get to play it as a kid, really. So whenever I got the chance on the computer to play it, I did. And I loved this game. This game, to me, will always stick out as a classic example of gaming history. It's beautiful, beautifully made. It's brilliant. It basically helped to define gaming. It brought so many new people into video games. Um, and that's what Pac-Man did, but this right here, this game could easily turn out to be something amazing. And I think the person who made it sort of sat there and thought, well, uh, it's alright, it's not that great, it's it's just a first person Pac-Man. And to a certain extent I'd agree to him, it is just a first person Pac-Man, but the way it's executed is actually really good. Everything about the game makes it more interesting. It reminds me a lot of Disco Dodgeball in the way that it's made. So actually, I suppose, I'll come to think of it, because a lot of the resources do look like resources from Disco Dodgeball, that a lot of the resource, if not all, a lot, if not all of the resources from this game, are probably uh, made within Unity. 
but the way it's executed is absolutely astonishing. Um, it's it's very it's bright, but the music is meant to scare you. Uh, and when you've got the fucking thing that allows you to eat ghosts, it's like holy shit, you are a monster, my friend. Go and eat those bastards. And it's amazing because it really gives you a new sense of control for the game. It certainly makes you feel more connected to the character of Pac-Man. So like when you're playing RPGs uh, that you know you can go in first person mode, it makes you feel more connected. That's part of the reason I would prefer something like Oblivion or Skyrim over something like World of Warcraft. The first person view just makes the game. Which is why The Elder Scrolls Online is really going to be impressive and I'm really going to enjoy it whenever I get the chance to play it. But um, yeah, I mean this game's definitely up there on my list of games that you should definitely fucking play. So honestly guys, go check this game out. You'll find it in the description below. This game is fucking awesome. Uh, I, I can't even begin to tell you. So please go check this game out. I don't know if there's somebody you can support. Uh, it says it's by Bridge Rider. So, um, I don't know, go, go look around, I'll leave the link in the description. Somebody find the source, somebody find the person who made this game, because if he made this, I'd love to see what else he's created. But anyway guys, that's where I'm going to cut the episode, so if you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe if you're new to my channel, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. This is Venkin 7 signing out. See you later, hunters. Yeah. Definitely very much like slender. Put the edge of your heart up.